Hi from Turkey. I'm Barış Kerem Bahar, assistant professor at Ankara Music and Fine Arts University, Performing Arts Faculty, and also president of Turkish Viola Society. This is a teaser of my lecture for upcoming European String Teachers Association conference. You know the story. As William Primrose said before, Viola is Cinderella of string family. At the beginning, it was not as important as other string instruments, but now we have fantastic repertoire. What happened? Who changed the history? Let's look closer. Viola is a string instrument that took its closest form to its present form in the classical period, even though the roots are based on the viola family. In the Baroque period, Johann Sebastian Bach gave a more important place to the viola in the counterpoint structure. But later in the Rococo style, which emerged and continued in the late 17th century, unlike the entire counterpoint, other parties accompany a single solo part. This negatively affected the development of viola music. The emergence of the string quartet form is very important in the process of gaining the solo identity of the viola. The composers showed that this instrument could go beyond accompaniment by starting to give the viola more responsibility in chamber music. Mozart and Haydn were among the first composers to realize the potential of viola. Mozart gave the viola important responsibilities not only in chamber music but also in orchestra parts. This symphony concertant which he composed for violin, viola and orchestra in 1779 is very important as it is the first work where violin and viola are seen equally in solo parts. In Haydn's Opus 33 quartets, the viola is more prominent than ever before. My lecture explains the importance of Mozart and Haydn in the process of gaining the viola's solo identity by giving responsibility to the viola.